Hello. We are here in the Sligo Rugby Car Park to do Knocknery. This isn't a tall mountain, but it is a amazing hill. It is quite steep and it has some amazing history. So yeah, let's go exploring. Okay, so the route that I'm taking today is I'm going to do Queen Maeve's Trail and I'm going to do the loop around. So if you can see behind me, there's the bright yellow gorse and then it hits the tree line. So I have quite a steep climb of steps and gravel up to the tree line where I then I'll turn right, go along it, and then up some boardwalk through the woods, up to the summit, back down the other side to the other one of the other two car parks, through that car park, around past car park number three, then back along the woods and back down here. So that's a whistle stop tour of the roughly 8k loop this is gonna take me and um The hawthorn flowers are finally coming out. I feel like they're a little bit late this year. It's been quite wet. But yeah, they're one of my absolute favourites. I love them. So starting at the rugby club, it's the closest car park of the three to sea level. So if you're looking to get as much elevation climbing as possible, it's a good one to start at. The trail up from here is also quite straightforward and like well developed. It's gravel and steps, so you're not gonna get lost. <laughs> and uh, it's pretty much going to look the same no matter what time of day or year you come to it at. And the views are spectacular. That's Ben Bulb in there in the background. say they've done a really nice job with the kind of little info boards, info signs on the way. So this is about the brown bull, now owned by Queen Maeve, fights the white bull, owned by her husband, King Ali, in a great final show. The trail that loops around Knock is known as Queen Maeve's Trail, an Irish warrior queen from over 2,000 years ago. She was the queen of Connacht and the myths that surround her are as wild as the west coast landscape. One of the most famous stories of her life is about the Brown Bull of Cooley. It's a tale of power where Queen Maeve steals the Brown Bull of Cooley from Ulster in order to equal her then husband's wealth and his White Bull of Connacht. All along this trail, you'll find info boards and QR codes that tell of Queen Maeve's life, her role in Anthorn, and the stories she's inspired since. It's said that when Maeve died, she was laid to rest atop Knocknaray, standing upright, spear in hand, facing her enemies in Ulster. The cairn on top of the hill is certainly big enough to have buried Maeve in such a way. The enormous stone mound is over 10 meters tall, 60 meters wide, and is estimated to be made up of 30,000 tons of stone. The stone monument on the summit is one of Ireland's most iconic Neolithic sites, and is dated to be over 5,000 years old, so centuries before Maeve would have walked the land. One of Ireland's best kept passage tombs, the myths that surround this tomb are said to be partially why it's never been excavated by archeologists. Such is the fear of Queen Maeve's wrath.
Now for me it's a tricky one because definitely a lot of uphill, quite strenuous, uh, but also an incredibly obvious path the whole way. So there's no fear of anyone getting lost. It's more just the physical exertion that makes this quite a strenuous uh, hike. And especially from this side, there's less of a climb, but the steps aren't literal, literal cut steps the same way they are on the other side. So makes it it's rocky, uh, slippery when wet, uh, the usual kind of things. Like, I love it. It's beautiful. Um, but yeah, definitely a strenuous, a strenuous one. <laughs> Okay, so behind me is car park number one and from that there's two lanes, the one that I just came down off of Knocknaray and then the one up from the Yates's uh, monument there um, up this trail which will now bring me looping around in the forest back to that junction of mesh the beginning. So we're on our way down to the Rath car car park and um, I must say I've been so incredibly lucky with the weather but it's also incredibly windy you don't have to come down you can loop around but I decided I'd walk down anyway see the car park walk back up again get an extra little bit of uh, distance in the leg legs and there's some lovely bluebells here which uh, are always just magical yeah. so this section of the trail is a lot more relaxed and a lot easier going well you're not climbing up to the top anymore you're kind of skirting around the side so yeah really really lovely walking we've even encountered queen maeve's legacy in the trails we've walked before the third trail we ever walked as Tough Souls was the Thorn Way, a 40 kilometre trail that loops around the Cooley Mountains, where she stole the brown bull from, with the very trail being named after the infamous cattle raid. We're back at the start again. Um, that was a really, really lovely afternoon and yeah, it's like 8 to 10k, uh, it takes a few hours if you're walking, um, but yeah, what a beautiful trail. Like really, really well maintained, well developed, and it is one though that don't get caught in the idea that just because it's well developed, it's easy. It's definitely a tricky hike, but yeah. One tricky thing has been um, that this is a much more popular hike um, than I have filmed in quite a long time. So there's been lots of other people doing it. Uh, it's not mobbed. Um, this is a weekday. It's a is it Thursday right now. It's Thursday, I think. Um, and there are people on it. And I'd say on the weekends it's even busier. So it's not somewhere for a solitary hike. But you're also not going to be overrun with people if you go on a weekday. Uh, but it does make me filming a little bit more awkward. Uh, I still find it tricky to talk to a camera in front of people, but. Getting there, slowly but surely. Eventually it might feel natural or something. <laughs> yeah, so that was uh, great. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed learning some of the history that um, about Queen Maeve and the Kern. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.